and you, you're 27. And this is his uh, friend Elaine. What's your name, Elaine? It's all city traffic, and there's no excuse. Nice attack. not going to be real professional, guys. Oh, I'm going to do the best I can here. We're in uh, my grandma's new apartment. And I'm going to, there's, there's my grandma sitting here. I'm going to move back a little bit and span so you can kind of see. We're still kind of unpacking, but I'm going to move. You want to hide that walker? No, we won't hide the walker yet. She's got her curio cabin over here, and I'm going to span around here. And the lights there make it a little Get bit more difficult. Ronnie, put up. Ronnie just put up a shelf and she's got all her little doodads up there. Some of these doodads were, let's see, the, which, any of those up there were your mom's? No? No, not Hardy. This no, doll, no. this cabinet over here was my mom's. The which one, one was that? Dressed, the dress, the doll she dressed. Oh, yeah, I'll show, show you that. Okay, over, over there is her bathroom and then you can see her dining room is over there. That's where you come in. Her, yeah, back over to the left. I didn't show you her her back bedroom. Let's see if I can trip over this cord here, and we're gonna go right in there. Is her kitchen, and you have a look in thing through here that goes into the the living room, so you can see all that. Um, step over here. Ugh. This is tricky. Okay. And I'm see if I can get a close up here. There's a picture of Mamie. And my dad too. She, he's right. Okay, I had to go back a little bit. My autofocus wasn't on. But we have a good picture here. There's Mamie, um, Rose's grand, uh, Rose's mother. And uh, we think this guy over here on the left is my grandmother's father. This, well, I know he is. Well, this picture was found in the bottom of uh, Mamie's chest. Yeah, it is. Tiny thing. Tiny thinks it is. So yeah, so that's what we think he looked like. Okay, I'm gonna stop this and then uh, we'll turn around and talk to my grandma. And to uh, begin with some questions. Can I this off? No, I want that on. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna have to walk across the camera, guys. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, today I just want to ask you about your mom and your mom's family. Um, we. Uh, had done research and so we know who her parents are. Um, your mother's mother, Amanda uh, Bell Payton Purdom, um, 
Do you remember anything about her? I mean, did you ever know your grandmother? No. You, you never saw her or anything? Just pictures. Uh huh. Did you ever meet your grand your grandfather, no. James Madison? No. Burton? I just knew his name. That's it. So the, did they die before you were born? Oh yeah. Okay, so you never did see them. No, just some pictures. Yeah. So, so do you, they were all from the um, Gravel Switch area, from the Little Rolling South. I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, they're buried there. Um, they had a farm there and stuff. Now, um, so you don't remember your grandparents at all. Um, now, your mother, she had a whole bunch of brothers and sisters. And um, I have a list here that you gave me earlier. And let's see, I want to find out about these brothers and sisters a little bit. Uh, Pearl was her oldest sister, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what do you remember about Pearl? Oh, she's like a mother to all the rest of them. Oh, everybody loved her. She just everything we congregated went there all frequently because she was a wonderful cook and she had everything. You just oh, you just had, you going home when you go to her house, you know. And a lot of times we stay over the weekend when we go. When I was a little girl, I remember that we'd stay over for a weekend. Now this is the place that's in Gravel Switch, and I do have the uh, address of the way to get there. So I will tell you after we get done. Um, now Pearlie was. Is it Pearl? I'm sorry. Is, was born the 30th of July, 1877, and she her, married Ben May. Well, her name was Pearlie. Pearlie. Okay. I never called her Pearl. I never heard anybody in the family call her Pearl. They always called her Pearlie. Okay. Now she died in 1966, uh, and she's buried in the Elder Cemetery in Gravel Switch, along uh, beside her husband Ben. Uh, he he died in 1956. Now they had four children. Yeah, had, I have Zella, Reva, Lucien, and Lucien, Lucien, L-U-C-I-E-N, and and then they waited for Maxine. a long time and had Maxine. Now she's that she yeah. died. Yeah, mm -hmm. and she's buried beside up on the hill there. Okay, now there the property that Ben May had, he had a farm, and I, I'm reading now out of the uh, I have a book on the the cemeteries in the area because I had gone down there in 1982 and met with the lady that had done the, uh, extensive research in the area and historical research on the area. And um, she had a book that lists all of the people who died in that area. Uh, there are two cemeteries on uh, the farm. It was uh, the D.C. and George May farm, and, which was uh, formerly the James Madison Purdom farm, but uh, buried there. And this, this would be the cemetery up on the hill, Maxine May. Um, she died in 1926, and she was only, gosh, what, 13 years old? 12 or 13. Yeah. Because Mom, you know, prepared for what she was to be put away in. Mom, because her mom was bedfaced at so, the time. So what did she die of? Uh, they gave her a glass of water, and, and then she just went like delirious. Uh, and she had a real high temperature. I remember my mama talking about that, how her temperature, she was hot enough to ooh, just her extremely high. I think they called it, uh, well, I can't think right now exactly, but, but I remember that she just died uh, uh, after they gave her that glass of water. Huh. But you can't remember what I it was? I can't remember what it was. So I think it's like, uh, uh, mm, they call it something about the brain. Huh. I'll, I'll, see, I'll have to see if I can find a record of that. Now the other another person that was buried up there is Goldie Purdom Minor. Now she She married Doctor Minor and Yeah, Doctor Raymond Minor. I remember of seeing her in her casket. And she was a beautiful lady. She was one of the prettiest of the bunch. Of the girls. Now Goldie is another sister. We're going kind of getting out of order here. That's who I'm talking about, Goldie. Yeah. Uh -huh. Goldie, I barely remember her, but I was pretty good size, and I remember looking at her in her casket. She was, I thought she just looked like a princess. She was just beautiful, and I wanted to touch her, and they said, "Oh no, don't do that," you know. And so I remember seeing her, and they, and she died mysteriously. They don't know how she died. She wasn't very old because I show. Um, she was born in 1886 and died in 19. And they don't know. They don't know. It's mysteriously how she died. Now, her, hus her husband, Dr. Minor, went on to, he moved to Louisville or somewhere, didn't he? Yeah. So. I don't know what type of doctor.
doctor he was. I just remember that he was a doctor of some kind, but I don't know what type of doctor. No, they don't have any information on that here. Uh, they had no children, I remember that. Well, there were two cemeteries in that, that were on Pearlie and Ben Mays Farm. There's one on the hill and one in the hollow by the pond. Uh, I didn't know about the hollow. You're the one who told me about the hollow by the pond at first, and then uh, because Tiny didn't know about that. And I was. Yeah, and then in fact you told Tiny, she said, there's no cemetery in the hollow by the pond. You swore there was. And then when I went there, I found both of these cemeteries on the property and in the book, listed in the book also. So there is. There is, and you were right. Well, I, I, maybe, I don't remember saying that to you, but maybe, the, uh, I guess there is, but I don't remember saying that to you. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, that was a long, that was a long time ago. Yeah. That was, that's been 15 years ago. I guess they probably told me there was. That's the reason why. Now, okay, we'll go back to Aunt Pearl here. Now, she was the oldest of your mom's sisters. She used to be a school teacher, I think. Uh, now, the next one I have listed here is Robert, born uh, 1879, June of 1879. Bob. He was the oldest of their whole, I think he was the oldest of all of them. But Aunt Pearlie was the oldest of the girls. I, I have him being two years younger than her. Then, then Aunt Pearlie, the then Aunt Pearlie. Yeah. yeah, I believe that's right, Judy. I believe well, I just have right. it from the census, yeah, so I, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's right. He was, uh, they were all afraid of him. <laughs> he, he, He'd lay down the law to him. He was the only boy. I guess it all were in every direction because I remember Mom saying, oh, God, we were scared of him. Now, he was a nice-looking fellow when he, in his younger days, aren't we all? But you know what I mean? Uh -huh. He was uh, uh, kind of nice-looking. So then, did he live around in Gravel Switch area, or did he move somewhere else? Oh, he lived for years around Gravel Switch, but then he moved to Louisville and later on. He now had, he some, had some children. Oh, he, he had married, a whole bunch of them. He met, well, he married two, three times. Did he? Mm -hmm. Well, the what you had, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. You told me five of them. You have Robert Lee, Christine, Cleo, and Niece Bell. Niece Bell. Niece Bell. Niece Bell. Now, okay. A. W. should and be Stella here. Stella May. A. W. should be here because she could tell you a lot of that stuff. I will tell you, she's not that far gone. She knows all that stuff. She knows all that. So are there any other one, children of his that you can think no, of? No, I can't, but Stella May, I thought Stella May was supposed to have been uh, um, Reva's daughter. Uh, well, you know, I'm looking at the Purdom Cemetery book here. It says Stella May, daughter of Bob Purdom and Mamie Garrett Purdom. Well, that's his first wife, I think. I have been a life wife. I don't know. He had a wife named Mamie. Born April 7th, 1920. Died November 19th, 1924. Verse on the stone. She was the sunshine of our home. I don't where'd know you, if that's you get that, Julie? Though? I don't know. That that would be Stella May Purdom, and that would be the correct name. Yes, that would be. Um, but Stella May, I have underlined it. I don't know why it's underlined. Well, I was thinking Zella or Reva one had a daughter named Stella May. I could be wrong. Okay, we'll, we'll try to find that out. Because that, that's... Uh, that we could be the one. I know they had one named Juanita. Who did? Uh, Re I mean, Reva's daughter, Juanita. Uh-huh. And she married pretty well. And she now, lived, Reva, she lives, Reva Isaacs is still living. Uh -huh. Reva Isaacs is the last okay. guy she married. Uh, no, she, no, no, no. She married Isaacs, and then that marriage didn't work out, and she married a guy that went blind. And he was buried. He hadn't, he hadn't been dead so terribly long, but she's still living. And she's lives in Louisville. <laughs> now, your Aunt Flossie, uh, that would be Mamie's sister Flossie. I have her uh, next in line. Um, well, she comes after Pearlie. Well, yeah, we have Pearl, Robert, and then Flossie. Now, she married who? She'd only married once. Who'd she marry? She married J John Jacob Moore. Okay, I have Ben Moore. Why do I have Ben Moore? I don't know. His name's John. John Jacob Moore. John J. 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 Moore. Um, so why, that needs to be corrected when was she? Okay, and then the next child I have is Iva. She died. In Cancer in the throat. 1935 she died. Now that's, now you heard me speak of Dudley a lot. Yeah. Okay, that's uh -huh. his mom. Okay, uh, now you told me Virgil, Augustus, Foster, Dudley, and Lyman. Did you, s did you say Augustus? G Augustus. No, it's Augustus. Augustus. G-U-S-T-U-S. Okay, that needs to be corrected also. 
Okay, the, uh, she married, Ivan married. She was married twice. Okay. She married, let's see, I'm pretty sure she, well, she married Virgil Lewis. Maybe she wasn't married twice. Is it L-O-U-I-S or L-E-W-I-S, do you remember? L-E-W-I-S. Okay. Do you remember anything about her? I just remember she was a very nice person. She, she loved her family. She was an attractive lady, but she had a very hard life because I think he drank quite a bit. You want me to tell that? Well, you can tell whatever's true. Well, anyway, that's the way it was. And, mm -hmm. and she had the four boys, and we used to like the guy because Mom had girls and she had the boys, and we just thought that was kind of funny. And she'd, every time she'd come to see me, she'd always bring me something. Real nice, one time she came and brought me a rabbit, and I thought it was wonderful. She was a very giving person. Most of my aunts were giving people. They were giving people, not selfish, you know, they were just givers. Uh, where did they live? Louisville. As far as I know, they lived there all their lives. And Lyman still is there, and Dudley lives out of Louisville. Foster died, and Gustus, now I guess he often, Foster died, and then Gustus died not too long ago. Mm -hmm. He was the oldest of the, of the bunch. And he was a real, I went to Aunt Flossie's funeral when she died and I encountered him. And I asked him, I said, uh, well, I never cared for him as much as I did Dudley because he was some nibby or something. You know, you know he'd say things that kind of bugged me. And so uh, he he just say to me, you know, um, Aunt Dovey, she's going to, he, he thought he was going to get some of Aunt Dovey's inheritance when she died. That's all he talked about. He just, he called her all the time and then he died. See, you never know what's going to happen. You just don't know. She may outlive everybody. <laughs> uh, let's see, the next one was Goldie. I don't know. I, I know least about her of any of them because she died. I just barely remember seeing her. And they had her in the casket at Aunt Pearlie's house. I remember and she didn't have any children. And she didn't have any children. And as far as I know, she didn't marry but once. Uh -huh. As far as I know it, I don't know that to be a fact, but I think that's the way it was. And then your mom. Yeah. Okay, Nanny. And she she was born when? Do you remember? No. 4th of March, 1889? Yeah. She was 83 when she died. And she, I have June the 3rd, 1972. That's probably right about it. And, and then and then mom, did you get her middle name, Wallace? Wallace, and I've seen it spelled two ways, so I'm going to have to look on her birth certificate. It's W-A-L-L-A-C-E. Okay, but on some, in the family Bible it's written W-A-L-L-I-S, so I need to see on her birth certificate how they are. Well, now, I never did see that. Yeah, well, the, that's in Aunt Debbie's possession, and... Um, and Aunt Debbie, she just knows everything. I just... Yeah, that's why... Um, I never knew it. I never... As for me, I never knew it any other way. I always knew it as W-A-L-L-A-C. -E. That we'll have to look at. Somebody may have just written it down. I wouldn't wrong. swear it, though. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't swear anything in Gina. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say. Okay, so your mom, we, we know, had you, Rose <clears throat> Duvall. Where'd you get the Duvall, do you it's know? It's a family name. She told me one time. It's some real good friends of theirs that they liked, and it's the Duvall people and that family. And, and it's their French, you know, it's a French name, and she, it's a family name. It's taken from just because she liked those people. Oh, well, that's nice. So were, were they from Gravel Switch? I don't know, know where they're from. Okay, and the Betty Ray, where'd she get the W-R-A-Y? Well, Ray Park, you know? I think there was some Rays in the family, but I'm not positive about that. But anyway, uh, the Betty is from her grandmother, Cazat. Grandmother Cazat, she's named after her. And I think her name, I, her middle name may have been Ray, too. Huh. I'm not sure about that either. I'm not, you asked Betty, Betty Ray Jr. knows a lot of this stuff, okay. too. Well, she's going to reciprocate, aren't you, Betty? Oh, I, I just give me anything. <laughs> okay. Amanda Bell, we know where that came from. That came from her From mother. Mom's, but see, one is uh -huh. named so, after Mom's mother, and the other is from... And there's another one, uh, even... Even before that, there was Amanda Bell Payton, but there was one back further than that, I think. Is that right? Let's see. No. Yeah. Uh, the, her mother was Amanda Parker. Now, I don't know yeah, Bell Parker. Was. And then after that, who's the one 
back at I don't the know. Parker. I don't have that written down here. I don't know. I'd that. like to know that, Judy. Yeah, I'm going to work on this. I and we know Parker. Robinson Payton was uh, Amanda Bell Payton's father, and uh, his parents were Vincent Payton and Polly Robinson. Now, listen, I've heard of this. But I don't. Payton. I have. I have to do research on that. Well, see. Faye Spires, Faye Peyton Spires was a cousin of my mom's. <clears throat> she lived in Detroit for a long time. And she, oh, for a long, long time. Do you know about her? Uh -uh. Well, she was a second cousin of my mom's, and she was a Faye Spires. She married a Spires, S-P-I-R-E-S, and she had two children. Now, I don't know all about She had a boy and a girl, but my mom used to speak of her, so she thought as much of her as she did her sister's. She was her cousin. Hmm. I hear my baby crying. I do too. Yeah, yeah She's I hear. supposed to be asleep. Do you want me to go get her? No, I, I'll, I'll get her. Um, the, uh, the last of uh, your sisters is Lila May. Lila May, my mom, she got the, the name out of the magazine. She was reading the story, and that appealed to her. She thought Lila was pretty. And I think she named the May because Lucian May and Pearly May, I think that must have been why she put the May. It goes pretty with it. Uh -huh, I think Lila is a pretty name. I love Lila. I think that's so pretty. And we'll come back to your sisters uh, later. Now, your mother married two times. She married uh, Ben Woodcox the first time, and uh, then she married Henry Kazak. It's Alcott. O -L Henry? O-L-C-O-T-T. -T -T. Henry Alcott Kazak. And that's spelled with two T's. And there's people here in Muncie that have C-O-Z-H-E. I've noticed that up in the paper. I picked up uh -huh. and C-O-Z-H-E. So. You were raised in the Kazat family. Yes. And uh, didn't you live with your grandparents quite a bit in your Henry's father's family? I was, no, I, I, didn't, I didn't live with them like we did. Uh -huh. But I was around them frequently and was treated. I thought the house in Parksville was their house and you guys lived in Well, it was. Uh -huh. It was. Then Henry got it. He was the son. And they, they left and they went to Harlem, uh -huh. close to middle school. And he was in, he had the coal mines up there. Well, the coal mines, there's a lot of money in that scene. But he, he owned that beautiful big home there. That uh -huh. I, I said, stop the car. That's where I, that's my, that's where I, my camping grounds were, and I want to get out and sit on that rock wall. Okay, that place was not, we didn't, Henry didn't buy that place. It was left to him. His mother and dad left him that place. And then they went to Middlesbrough. So that's where they actually lived, because Nancy was there, their daughter. Uh -huh. And then he was involved in these uh, uh, coal mines. And I remember Mom going there to visit, and she and, she and Dad would take a, rides on the hand cars on the, as they go through the mine and uh -huh. stuff, you know, and they take uh -huh. rides on that. And she'd tell me, come tell me about it. And so thought, did you ever do that? No, I never did that. But I, I remember her talking about that. And I thought that was really interesting. I thought that was something different, you know. I thought that was really nice. And she'd say, but they lived there in Middlesbrough for quite a while, as long as Nancy was there, because she was the one that really took care of them for years and years and years, even after they went to West Virginia or where it was. I think it was West Virginia. They lived there when she died, I think. It was West Virginia. and Or maybe it was Virginia. Anyway, uh, you saw the homes in Lebanon where they lived. Uh -huh. You saw all most those of, homes. And most well, of them we were all close them. together. Well, most of them there. There were like 10 of them weren't there in Lebanon. Oh, or? I don't think there's that many, but there was quite I a few. I have a letter here from uh, Tiny that had Now, Tiny always... Those. Right, she thinks she is, but now she doesn't know is sometimes she's wrong about some things. But she got a general idea about the stuff. She never was as close to them as I was. Betty and I were closer to Grandma, Grandpa Gazette than than Tiny. It just seemed like she wasn't as close to them. But she, you know, they, she just didn't care. I would think, and uh, but I was always I was around my grandmother Gazette a lot. Yeah. Well, when you were born, you were born at. Pearly Mate House. Pearly Mate and Gravel Yeah. And was your mother living with Pearly then? At a time, a period of time. Yeah. I've got a picture of me with a dog out in the yard feeding the dog, and, and it shows the house, and that's when I was about, oh, heck, I must have been about four or five. 
about Yashi's well, thing. I've seen that picture. Well, I've got it. You know, oh, I have a bunch of pictures, and I'm feeding the dog. And, oh, I'm barefooted, and I'm just feeding the dog, and I'm blonde-headed, just like in that picture over there. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get a picture of well, that. She, she lived there. See, Mom felt close to her because she did, I think, for a period there, that she, the way she talked to me was she lived there for a bit. Well, I know she did for a while after I was born, you know. And then later on, she went to Cincinnati. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, and when I was just a tiny little thing, well, she went to Cincinnati. And, and uh, Dovey and Daisy both knew all day. Hey, Dovey, I just wish she's here. But anyway, they they knew, they knew, uh, I guess they partially took care of me while mom worked. She went to Cincinnati and took this motor at Motor College. They mm -hmm. called it Motor College and they went there and I mean she went there and she took this uh, course on learning to make toothpaste. But she had to do something, you know, because she was in the world alone with the baby. So she did that. And they were attached to me. What I hear. I don't know, but they said they loved me. <laughs> took care of me, kid oh, me. And, you know. And I was a little thing, and they took, I guess it kind of, until she got on her feet, and then later on, of course, she, you know, she, I don't know where she moved from there, but uh, there was a period there that, that she attended that Moore College and took that course. And your mom was a beautician? She was a beautician. And for years and years and years, she just wanted to open up a beauty shop, and Henry wouldn't let her. And he said, but well, people think I'm not supporting, you know, all that crazy crap, you know. But anyway, she did it anyway. When we lived there in Lebanon, out on <coughs> Proctor Knot Avenue, I think it was way out there as you go to Springfield, Kentucky, in one of the real pretty homes that we lived in. And she opened up her beauty shop right there in that house. And I remember I was so thrilled. I thought I helped her with her spindles and things for permits. And, and you know, she didn't have any demand for two pays or anything. But she did, before she did that, when well, she went to Louisville and took a brush up course, because it had been years. That, after she'd been to Motor College, it'd been a long time it elapsed. So she went and took a brush up course. And there was no demand much for toupees. So she went ahead against his wishes and opened up the shop. And later on, she checked in and moved downtown and worked with another lady. Her name was Miss Yaden. I remember her calling her Miss Yaden. And she, she worked with her for a while. And then she rented a room downtown. This is in Lebanon now. And she rented this room, and this, and she had her own shop then. She had her own shop, and that's when she really enjoyed it, when she had her own shop, because she likes to be her own person. She didn't want to be taking orders from somebody else. Well, wasn't there a, a period of time there that Henry left when she left? Well, no, I don't know too much about that. All I know is that he... Um, no, I meant when you were in high school or, or out of high school. No, I was out of high school. I was, uh, when we lived in Stanford, you're talking about I don't Stanford. Know when. Well, there was a period there. Well, when we lived, lived in Lebanon, too, where he would go away. I think he did, uh, they didn't get a uh, separation, but he was gone quite a bit. And then he came back, and he'd go back. But then, you see, after he, um, he worked there for the, his dad there in Lebanon all the time. I remember when I was growing up there at Lebanon going to school and stuff, where well, he worked at the Kazak Motor Company. Uh -huh. And before I showed you where yeah, it was, uh -huh. well, that's where he worked, and and everybody said, well, if he gets in, in bad in trouble about anything or financially, well, his dad will help him, you know, because he was the only son. But and I guess they did get along pretty well and everything. But I remember going in there and asking him for money to go to a movie. Betty Ray and I, we'd go in there and say we want to go to the movie. He'd say here, you know, we'd do that every Saturday. <laughs> he'd go to a matinee, and I remember. <clears throat> that as he, uh, well, he was a material supervisor when he lived in Oak Ridge, but that's going further, you know, later on. But I'm talking about when he lived there in Lebanon. As far as I know, that's all he did was just work there at that motor company. Okay. He was what you call the, a salesman. Uh, he, he, you know, sold cars. He sold cars. Well, so we have two more of your institute here. We have Daisy. Well, she's the one that died not so terribly long ago that I got to uh, 1977, okay. Now, she married, I have Miko, am I Miko, M-I-K-O. What's his first name? You Lois. Lois. Lois? Lois. L-O-U-I-S. Uh-huh. He was the Hungarian. He was Hungarian. Now, see that Hungarian uncle you were talking about that played the... Played the beautiful music. Uh-huh. No,